Hey guys, in this video, we will see one CSS property, column count. So, as the name suggests, the column count CSS property breaks an element's content into the specified number of columns. So, when you are using layout and you have so much of content, so sometimes when you break down the content, you might need to divide those content into number of columns and it is based on the device okay so in that case you can use this column count css property okay so let's see an actual example first of all let's create one div and uh, let's give some class content let's say content div okay uh, and let's add some content okay so let me simply copy this class and this is our content okay so let me give some color okay so now as you can see we have content without any separate column so right now column is one one column is there we are not separating this content into number of columns so if you change the size of your browser it will be only in single column okay so let's say you have to break down this content into few columns okay in that case you can use css property column count okay let's give it three for example and let's see So you can see this is now separated into three columns. Okay, let let's inspect and see. Now you can see if you change the layout, you can see the difference. Okay, when you change uh, your browser size, or you can say if you check in tablet or mobile devices, you can see the actual difference. So now number of columns is column count three, right? so let me change it to four so now it will this content will be divided into four columns okay so this is how column count property works so with this column count we have default uh, one more thing default property will be auto and when you are using auto you can always use column width okay let me uh, give seven REM. and if you use this column width this column count will not affect it it will not it will not work because anyhow we are giving column width so the content which, whichever we are giving will be divided into this column width so right now it is 7 rem so that is divided like one, two, three, four, five, five columns. Let me add 10 REM, then it will be four. We can change the value like 20, then it will be divided into columns. Okay, so please make sure that whenever you are using column width, the column count will not, uh, will not work or you can't use column count when you are applying column width. Okay, so this is one point. Uh, the default value as I said it is column count uh, uh, auto for column count CSS property okay so uh, about browser support it supports almost all the browsers Chrome that is Chrome Edge Firefox Opera Safari and I think Internet Explorer is not in picture right now so you can ignore that okay so this is very simple example that you can use column count in your layout for specific content okay so when you have uh, many content or you can say a paragraph or a very large paragraph you can always uh, use column count CSS property to separate those content into columns okay so for this video this is all guys and if you new to if you are new to my channel please visit my channel the code canvas and you can see there are more than 200 videos um, there are few playlists and you can see the playlists are having CSS 
for many videos are there on css there are few videos on wordpress as well there are many videos created on javascript as well which, which are very useful when you are preparing for an interview or you are looking for any javascript knowledge advantage so please subscribe to my channel and that's all for this video guys see you next time around bye